Hades Dii is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do as you please. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardius Dii for research purposes. But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Party's DI now? I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Well, you only have your Harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. I may be staying at Party's DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch! Are you all right? I'm fine. These Batuli have really crossed the line. Time to teach them a lesson. Game's up. Time's over. Stay clear. There's no use resisting. Give us Hapasia. Keep dreaming. Yes, my Nari, fear us! The doctor's orders are absolute. Yeah? You've been someone's lapdog for so long that you don't know anything else now. We're not getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hypasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. Got it! Hapage is still here. Doesn't look like anyone's broken in. Well, how is she? Oh, that's good. So, you think this is over? What? The Valley Deer is here? <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Party's DI and made contact with Hapasia. I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. Uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's impossible. I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Hey, Traveler! What are you doing? My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. 
But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. Yes, what is it? Yeah, I'm in a good mood, which is why I'm talking to you like this. What do you mean? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Ah. You've seen my affection for her. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become my glory. You're doubting me again? No matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. chatted with you for a while. Uh, where is the storm headed? That means anyone outside is in danger. Let's go. Tainari and Dia still must be fighting. 
Oh, my arm phone. <laughs> 